how to videos force example 2b net force with acceleration once again we are pushing on a cart and we have information now about acceleration that is exciting we have the cart's mass is 17 kilograms we're looking for the normal force we're looking for the frictional force and we know he's pushing with a force of 66 newtons so let's go ahead and draw out the diagram okay on the y-axis we've got the force gravitational and then the force normal on the x-axis we've got the applied force and we've got the frictional force now if we notice he is accelerating he's speeding up so we should probably draw this to be a nice big uh, applied force vector okay now let's go ahead and list out the information we have let's see the normal force gravitational force force applied force of friction acceleration and mass quite a few variables let's see mass we can start with that's going to be 17 kilograms acceleration 2.8 meters per second squared the applied force 66 newtons and that's all we have right now so let's uh we can start on either axis because we do need something from both let's go ahead and start with the y-axis some of the forces on the y equals mass times acceleration on the y we always start off with newton's second law f equals ma just specific to the y-axis so we have the normal force minus the gravitational force equals mass times acceleration on the y normal is up gravitational is down so we treat gravity as a negative okay is it floating up into the air or is it falling down no of course not the acceleration is zero so that means the normal force equals the gravitational force which equals we're not given the gravitational force however we are given the mass and we know that mass times the acceleration due to gravity will get us weight which is the gravitational force so let's go ahead and plug in we have 17 kilograms we're multiplying by 9.8 meters per second squared it's the acceleration due to gravity remember we can drop off the negative sign because it's actually already taken into account with this whole downward this negative right here so we'll tap that into our calculator we're going to get normal force equals 166.6 newtons or rounding to somewhat more reasonable sig figs 167 newtons excellent that is the first part now moving on to the x-axis we'll do f equals ma specifically for the x-axis so the sum of the forces on the x equals mass times acceleration force applied minus force of friction because we said we normally think of force applied as in the positive direction and friction in the negative direction doesn't have to be but i just do it that way so that equals mass times acceleration now can i simply say oh acceleration is zero no 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 because acceleration is 2.8 meters per second squared aha so what is it that we're looking for we're looking for the frictional force so we're going to need to solve for this i'm going to move that to the other side so i'm going to move that over here and i'm going to move the mass times acceleration to the left mass times acceleration on the x-axis equals frictional okay so we have applied minus the mass times acceleration is equal to the frictional force it's a slightly rearranged equation but we can certainly do that now i can just plug in 66 newtons minus 17 kilograms times and the acceleration we said before was the 2.8 oh, that's a 2.8 meters per second squared is going to equal the frictional force i tap some stuff into my calculator i have 66 newtons minus let's see that's going to be 47 
0.6 newtons. Tap, tap, I get 18.4 newtons, or the frictional force, which is what I was looking for, is equal to 18.4 newtons. Now, if you remember, it is to the left, so I could also say it's uh, uh, to the left, uh, demonstrate with the negative sign or with the arrow that I just highlighted over here. Okay, physics with acceleration.